Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I have a good one for you today. I am in beautiful Newport Beach. Tide is very low. I'm going to go out to look at the tide pools. And uh, got a few things we're going to talk about. A bunch of national news stories. But uh, main thing is manufacturing. U.S. manufacturing just fell off a cliff. And there's some staggering numbers in regards to that that we're gonna go through. Uh, before I do, please take a second. Please hit the like button, uh, the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get notified of everything that we're doing. And don't forget, there's an email list. It's in the video description below. Plus we have uh, a Patreon account that you can connect with me on if you'd like to. And let's get into it. Uh, US manufacturing has been a complete mess for the longest time. And now think about this. We had 19 months of US manufacturing growth up until the health crisis, up until March of 2020. Our US manufacturing was at basically an all time high. It was going up and up and up and up and up and up. Now, since the health crisis, everything fell off the cliff. But in the last year, one thing that we've seen is we've seen that manufacturing has hit an 11 month low and it's only going in the other direction right now, which is an absolute problem. So what you have is you've got uh, manufacturing that was in uh, November was at uh, basically a 61% level. And now it's at 58% dropped another two and a half percent. And uh, again, they're blaming supply chain issues. They're blaming everything that's going on uh, with this. And uh, again, has nothing to do with unemployment, has nothing to do with, do people have money? Do they not have money? Uh, well, again, we need to have more things made here in the United States. From a guy who works with companies and helping them raise money, I'm telling you this right now, if you can come up with something that you can manufacture here in the United States and you can pay a wage here in the United States and get things done, you will have people throw money at you right now because the idea with this is that so many people what they've done is they come up with something. We'll just get it from China. It's just that simple. You don't have to worry about it. It's cheaper. And we've seen nothing but delays with the manufacturing right now uh, with the Chinese uh, uh, manufacturing over the course of the last uh, uh, two years and especially the last six months with everything that we've seen. So complete mess. Now, the next thing is the Fed. The Minneapolis Fed president is a guy named Neil Kashkari, and uh, <laughs> Greg Manorino calls him Lex Luthor, which I love because he's a bald cat. And uh, um, he ran for governor here in the state of California and got clobbered a few years back. And uh, now he works for the Fed. And he was a financier that talked about how crazy everything was here in the United States and in California especially and how we needed to uh, get the budget under control so that we could save uh, our economy and the state. Now, he is sitting there talking right now about how uh, he had no idea that uh, inflation was going to be as bad as it was. And he was shocked by it. And again, it, it, whenever anybody says this and they're involved with the Fed or the government, it's absolutely mind boggling uh, that they can say this with a straight face. And as I walk through the stream here, I'm trying not to get wet. But uh, tide is incredibly low out here now, guys. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. But Mr. Kashkari, one thing that he came out with today was we need to get a hold of inflation. Okay, I'll listen. We need to raise interest rates uh, twice in 2022. Okay, well, I thought you said you guys were going to raise them three times in 2022. We need to raise them at least twice. Here's the thing that I don't understand. You look at some place like England where England said hey, we need to get a hold of this so they raise interest rates a quarter of a percent. Now it's nothing, it's a quarter of a percent is not going to fix anything. And it was just a symbolic thing for them to do that. But this guy talking about how they're gonna have to do it twice is, uh, is very interesting to say the least. But where you been, okay? So now that it's time to raise interest rates, uh, do you believe they're going to do this? Because again, the tapering mess, the, the shenanigans with this, the one thing that we're seeing is bond prices go up. We're starting to see real estate mortgages go up in price. Well, 
How can that be, guys? Why is that? And again, stock market's up, everything's great, you know, not to worry. You know, I get people that write me and are telling me how stupid I am and that housing prices are gonna go up 10, 12% this year and you're gonna miss out. Okay, you're right, I'm <laughs> gonna miss out. So, uh, very interesting that we're seeing this and living through this. And again, guys, please share your thoughts on all this stuff. I wanna know what you think about this. And again, the Minneapolis Fed chair, when these guys talk, does that make you sit there and go, oh, I gotta listen to Neil Kashkari because I, I, he's a clown as far as I'm concerned. And I think that the clown uh, is kind of, uh, you know, again, two interest rate. I thought we were gonna raise it three times. Now we should raise it twice. And tomorrow, you know, the Fed's supposed to speak. So it'll be interesting to see what we get out of all this. So share your thoughts. And again, I always love coming out here. It's like it's post-apocalyptic. It's like it's lava. It's crazy. So kind of pretty. I'll walk to the end as far as I can. Do you guys ever think that we're living in backwards land? Left is right. Right is, you know, left. Up is down. You know, we're being told bad news. Oh, this is really good news. Well, here's a story for you that I think is insane that they're trying to say is good news. Four and a half million people quit their jobs in November. And according to U.S. World and uh, U.S. News, uh, uh, they're saying that this is a good thing. It shows the strength in the economy, which makes no sense. Uh, Nick Bunker, who runs the Indeed Hiring Lab for the Indeed Company, was talking about how great it is and how people are really excited about new opportunities. Okay, uh, that doesn't make sense, okay? Uh, 10.6 million jobs are listed right now for that are publicly listed at places for people for hire. And they're saying this is a good thing because uh, in November, it was 11.1 .1 million. There's half a million less jobs. So again, up is down, left is right. I don't get how this is good news. They're talking about this shows the strength of the economy. Who believes that right now? Do you believe that unemployment's under 5%? Because again, we talk about this a lot. It's absolutely crazy to think that that's the case. So the next thing is uh, one of the world's largest home sales just happened uh, in the last week uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, just paid $133 million uh, for Hideki uh, to meet his house in uh, Los Angeles. Beautiful place, spaceship-like looking place, uh, lots of land, Bel Air type place. Okay, again, 133 million bucks, insane. Now you hear stuff like this, and then you hear the Sylvester Stone uh, story where Adele got a deal for you know uh, you know 52 million dollars off the asking price. Did this guy pay too much? Uh, is he just you know spending that crypto money left and right? You know, let me know what you guys think about this because I think it's insanity right now of all the money that these people are spending for stuff like this. Um, you know, uh, again, share your thoughts on all this stuff. I really want to know what you think. Uh, yeah. Really quiet, no waves, nothing. Really cool. Well, auto sales are in the books for 2021 and the number one selling car company in the United States, dun dun dun, Toyota. Toyota took over GM as the number one car uh, company in the United States. Uh, they sold 2.3 million cars, 111,000 more than GM did. Here's the crazy thing. Toyota admitted that their sales were down 10% in the fourth quarter, so they probably could have clobbered this number. The number one selling vehicle, again, Ford F-150. Ford stock has been up 11%. Ford also said that they're going to uh, double production for the F-150, so you guys can go out and buy one of those $133,000 trucks. Uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, uh, Tesla sold over 900,000 vehicles this year, and uh, Hyundai had a really good year too. So it's really interesting. With all the supply chain problems and all these things that they were talking about, a lot of these car companies had pretty stellar numbers this year. So share your thoughts on this. You guys gonna buy a new car anytime soon? Does that interest you at all? So I think it's insanity right now to purchase these uh, cars and to see that the average uh, used car is going for $29,000 is absolutely nuts. 
so one thing that I constantly get is conflicting news that I have to deal with I look at over you know it's over 40 sources to make a video and we just got you know news that ADP has announced their job numbers and 807,000 people got added to uh, the job roles in January and it's fantastic okay well it's not guys we just heard that you know you know four and a half million people quit their jobs but now we're supposed to celebrate this amazing feat that uh, 807,000 people uh, were added to the job roles in uh, uh, December again who cares now speaking of conflicting news uh, this is a big deal that GM is no longer the largest producing car company here in the United States and that they were overtaken by Toyota that's a big deal but GM just announced something the new Silverado it's gonna save the day and the new Silverado the electric Silverado is going to come out and it's going to be something that is gonna revolutionize the car business and that comes out today you can see the the test drive and all that stuff and it's gonna go over 400 miles for it for an electric car now here's the worst part about this that car is on pre-order only for 2023 so how is that gonna save the company it's not okay it's absolutely not gonna save the company so uh, in next thing I had one of my subscribers reach out Dave uh, Dave uh, dated a woman 30 years ago she had a four-year-old son when they first started dating that was developmentally disabled and his name is Christopher and Christopher and Dave bonded and it didn't work out between Dave and Christopher's mom but Dave maintained a relationship with Christopher all this time and Christopher grew up to an adult but he's got challenges finally got a job and during the health crisis could not work I'll show you some pictures of it Christopher's a good kid that excelled in uh, uh, Special Olympics did all this stuff that that really tried to have a quote normal life and Christopher cannot work right now uh, because of the health crisis and Christopher's got a, a very good disposition very optimistic and one thing that Christopher did was he developed uh, a saying that my heart's happy and one thing that Dave has done uh, through this program is they're selling shirts for Christopher's benefit my heart's happy and you guys can take a look at that my heart's happy .com. very cool but it's going to a good cause it's going to Christopher and uh, take a look at that the next thing that is absolutely crazy to get back to the crazy side is all this meatless food okay Think about everything I'm going to tell you right now. There is uh, meatless food in the UK. Uh, they just did a test through none other than Subway chicken tikka, fake chicken tikka, okay? Meatless chicken tikka. Something nobody asked for. Now, the funny thing about this, notice this was not tested here. Notice this was not released here because the joke is that their tuna is not real, okay? So now they have fake chicken tikka. Was it made out of the same stuff? Who knows? So they have a month in the UK called vegan uary instead of January, vegan uary. I've never heard of that term. I looked it up and it's something I think that Subway made it up, but vegan uary and you can have fake chicken tikka. Uh, again, who wants this stuff? Now, here's the thing Chipotle just announced that they're rolling out nationwide their fake meat uh, uh, sausage, chorizo sausage on their bowls. Who wants this stuff, guys? Who wants fake chorizo? I, I, I mean, come on, I've never heard of this. It's disgusting. And you know, when I look at the reviews and things like this, people are saying things like, well, if I have to eat it, I will, okay? Well, that's a, that's a glowing endorsement, guys. If I have to eat it, I will. Now, the big one that's coming out next week is none other than uh, KFC. KFC is going to have meatless nuggets. And again, who asked for this? Who asked for meatless nuggets? I mean, I I'm really disgusted by this because you've got soy wrapped in dough, deep fried, mmm. And it's going to be at all their locations throughout the United States. And they said again, all these things that are being thrown out, we had a very successful launch, pre-launch. Did any of you taste this? 
because I can't find a person, I can't find anybody in my network that ate this stuff and tested it before, and we're supposed to believe that this is all gonna be just uh, delicious. So again, conflicting news. You know, the next thing is mealworms. They're gonna try to have people eat mealworms, which is disgusting, I won't even get into that. But again, the largest landowner uh, in the United States, one of them for farmland, is none other than Dr. Bill Gates. And uh, one thing that's funny is that I don't think Bill Gates is eating meatless uh, anything right now, okay? And the rich have a tendency not to uh, do things like that. So uh, share your thoughts on all that stuff, guys. But again, have you tried this meatless stuff? You know, um, one of the subscribers wrote me and said that they walked into a subway and it says, our tuna is 100% real. And I'm like, oh, send me that picture. Again, our chicken tikka is 100% fake. I mean, what do you, how do you combat this stuff, guys? What do you sit down and say, uh, yeah, enough's enough. So share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. I really want to know what you think. If you think that, you know, the Chevy Silverado is, is uh, a big thing. The ADP numbers, again, ADP is basically a private company. They're not a national company. They are a payroll servicing company that you can go out and you can get to handle your payroll. I had them for years, fantastic. But listening to their advice and thinking that this is going to be, you know, the company that we should listen to, again, conflicting news. This was also just announced this morning that we're talking about retail crime and everything that's going on with that. Uh, the County of Los Angeles has just announced that they're not gonna have a criminal trial for two weeks. They don't know how they're going to be able to handle criminal trials right now. Okay, well, lucky you. If you guys have done anything nefarious or anything like that, they got a couple more weeks, so they're pushing that off too. So share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. I really, really, really wanna know what you think about this. The Chevy Silverado, does that interest you? Okay, that doesn't interest me at all. So let me know what you guys are thinking. The rich just keep getting richer. Uh, it was just announced that Apple had hit a $3 trillion uh, market value. And one person that completely benefited from that was Warren Buffett himself. Warren Buffett has a 5% stake in Apple that he bought for $36 billion. And now it's worth $160 billion. And it's gone up an absolute ton since he purchased it. And uh, one thing that I get a kick out of is you really can't see it in the horizon, but uh, uh, all the cargo ships that are still backed up out there that uh, have your Christmas and your Halloween merchandise and uh, all that stuff is sitting out there waiting to hit the ports. But uh, the U.S. government just announced a new metric on how they're going to track things like this. And it has peaked and not to worry about this. Well, guys, okay, from the layman, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 15 ships out there right now that I can count. This beach is one of the only beaches in Southern California that still has fire pits. Kind of cool. I've got this whole section down here that you can go. But the thing I wanted to point out to you guys is, you know, look at the container ships out there. It's very hazy, very dark, but I can count, you know, just this close, eight right now. Now, one thing that we're being told is that the Port of Los Angeles handled 10.5 million containers this year, and uh, they were up big numbers, and they're just so happy that they handled that many containers, but everything is completely backed up. So again, backwards news, conflicting. I'm gonna finish this video with these last three stories. And there was a man, 75 years old, in Hawaii, uh, trying to get the perfect shot of the volcano and uh, fell into it. And it's just tragic when you think about it. But uh, I can understand that, wanting to get the perfect shot for you guys. Uh, second thing is, this is sad, is that since the health crisis has started, one in 20 kids get enough exercise. How about that? One in 20. One in 20. 
You know, I think about my kids when they were in school, elementary, how they just wanted to run around and play all day. And now kids are not getting that and it's absolutely tragic. And the last thing is if you have a bad heart, you have high cholesterol, they suggest that you eat grapes and that red grapes have the property that can remove cholesterol. Fibers, and it's, there's a study find uh, article that's attached below you can take a look at. But again, they talk about cultures that drink wine. Now again, if you don't drink uh, red wine on a regular basis, the, the doctors tell you not to start doing it. I've had a lot of doctors uh, talk about different benefits of that, but uh, you shouldn't start drinking if you don't drink. But certain cultures that are rich in red wine consumption tend to live longer and tend to have less heart disease, which is kind of funky when you think about that. So grapes can really help people. Um, please do not forget to hit the like button. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this with uh, everybody you know. And uh, what else? Don't forget we got a Patreon channel. Don't forget the email list below. Onward and upward, guys. Great things are going to happen this year to everybody. Make them happen for yourself. I will see you guys very soon.